Hi everyone. Today I wanted to give you a few tips about how to properly use your leg when you're riding. So your leg is the driving aid. It's what you use to get your horse going forward and it's always good when your horse goes forward. But it's important to understand how in dressage we use our legs properly and um, work to get our horse more sensitive. So be sure to like this video and also sign up for my email list. The link is below if you like my videos. The first thing that I consider when I'm just sitting here in the saddle is that I really want to think about my upper leg. And when I grew up and I rode Western a lot, I always was kind of riding like this. So I had my toe a little out and my knee pointing outward. And there was like, you could see you can see there's like some daylight between my knee and the saddle. So that's really not correct for dressage. In dressage, you need to, from your hip, rotate your thigh in. You can even kind of like grab the back of your thigh and you want to have contact with your knee and the saddle. So you shouldn't be gripping with your knees, but your knee shouldn't be flopping. It should just be like a little steady pressure. Now you can use your upper thigh to influence your horse. So. I use my upper thigh sometimes it for a turning aid, um, not so much for a driving aid, but you can kind of close your upper thigh to help move the shoulder over. Once your upper leg is in the correct position, the second thing is your calf. So your calf is where you want most of your aids to come from. Um, if you close your calf, that would be like for a walk trot transition or for your horse to go a little forward. Um, and then if your horse doesn't listen to the calf, then I would come in with my heel. So I'd give my horse a little bump with my heel. If that doesn't work, then I would use my spur. So what, like if I'm just riding and I'm gonna close my leg for the walk or the trot, it's just simply this. Like you can see a little bit, but it's pretty invisible that aid. What a lot of people do is when they go to use their leg, they do this. Obviously I'm exaggerating, but they literally pull their knee above the knee roll. They put their spur in their horse. And then when, even when their horse goes forward, they just keep their leg like this. So that's a really ineffective use of the leg because um, you're gonna always have to go to your spur. And then since there's never any release of the pressure, your horse is gonna ignore it. So if you think of like the pressure of the saddle and the girth, it's there all the time so the horse just ignores it so you want to, you want your horse to react to your leg which means that it needs to be a little more intermittent on and off so let me show you a little bit how to work on a more effective leg aid so one of the best ways to work on using your leg aid is to work on transitions so you can start just very simply with walk, halt, walk transition. So I'm walking along, I'm trying to use my core to get my horse to halt. And then when I want my horse to walk on, I'm gonna close my calf and give him a little bump with my heel because he didn't respond when I just closed my calf. So you always ask with your calf first, give him a bump with your heel or your spur, and then repeat. So I'm gonna close my calf, that was better. That time he walked on without me having to give a bump with my heel. You know, the goal is that you wanna have invisible aids. So invisible aids are when you just close your calf. If you have to kick with your spur, then that's a, a more obvious aid. So start just with your walk, how it walks and work on that. And, and one thing that I tell my students all the time is like, use your leg and then make your leg long again use your leg and then make your leg long again because if you if you use your leg and then you keep your leg clamped on your horse it really um, locks up your seat and your hips so having this nice long leg is what allows me to have an effective and following seat with my horse so once you've done the your trot halt or your walk halt walk you can go to your trot, walk trot transitions. And again, just really working on, use your leg, get your horse to trot, and then take your 
heel and your spur out of your horse's side. So when I make my leg long, I still have a little pressure in my calf. Like my calf is in contact with my horse. It, it's not like, like when I make my leg long, it's not like I do this, right? I still have contact with my upper leg and my calf, but I'm just not clamping on the horse all the time. Oh boy. So the, the other aid that's really important is your canter aid. So I'm gonna show you, if I'm trotting and I'm gonna pick up left lead canter, my outside leg is gonna go from, this is what I would consider to be at the girth to a little behind the girth. So it's kind of, it's just a few inches of difference, but it's basically from at the girth to behind the girth, at the girth to behind the girth. And notice that when I, when I do this, when I move my lower leg, my upper body doesn't change. So I'm not leaning forward. Um, I'm not leaning back. I'm not drawing my leg up either. I, it's just basically from the knee down, I'm going from trot to canter, trot to canter. So I'll show you that one time in front of the camera. So again there, you know, this horse is pretty nicely forward, um, but even with him, I'm really aware that I put my leg on and then I take my leg away. So if I'm going to pick up the canner, my leg is a little back because I'm on a circle, but I put my leg a few more inches back and there I get my canner aid. And you notice I didn't tip forward, nothing changed, my leg stayed nice and long and my horse cantered on. So it's really important to work towards that just getting your horse to react to your calf. Horses are super sensitive. You know, if they can feel a fly land on their side, there's no reason that you should have to be kicking and spurring and jamming your heels on them all the time just to get them to go. So let me show you the transition to right lead canter here when we're in front of the mirror. So there, my outside leg goes back and he canters on. Oh boy. So I hope this video gives you some ideas on how to use your legs. And you'll find that the more you can have your leg in the correct position, the more your seat can follow the horse.